sometimes, when I've said this before, it's the little things that make the big things. And we forget that it is all of us here that are making the big thing. And you know, I know I'm preaching to the choir because we are here because we support our. But why do we support her? Why is it that we're here saying, you know what, you got to vote and you got to support and we're going to talk to people? What makes someone decide to put themselves out there knowing that the kickback and sometimes the cruelty and the danger is present? And you put yourself out there to run and you're not like everybody else. What is it? Why, why do you think Ari's doing it? Why do any of us do it? Is it fearlessness? Is it our past experiences? Is it our upbringing? Is it our character? So I'm going to tell a little story. Um, I'm going to try not to cry. So when my dad came here, Burst he was, uh, I think he was in the sixth grade. The first day of school, he was ready and he had money in his pocket for lunch. So, but the first day of school, for whatever reasons, the cafeteria was not open. So he had no food. He had no lunch. I'm the little chocho. <laughs> <laughs> So he sat down. This guy came, another kid came to him and said, you have lunch? Do you have lunch? And he goes, no, I got money for lunch. I thought the cafeteria would be open, but it wasn't open. He goes, I'm, I'm, I do have lunch. I'm gonna share my lunch with you. Here's another kid, he didn't know my dad. My dad had brown skin. He didn't worry about the color of his skin. All he knew is that there was someone in need who was hungry and he fed them. He didn't turn away. He didn't walk the other way. He did not go sit with his other friends. He sat with my dad. When my mom passed, the very first person to come through that line was him, the guy that shared his lunch with my dad. You know why? Because it was the right thing to do. I want you to know, Ari is doing the right thing. She's not turning her head to ignore people in need, healthcare, the elderly, school children in public education, municipalities that need funding for fire, for police, for infrastructure. She's not turning her head. She's not ignoring the bills that need to be paid attention to. She will not ignore them. But she's looking at them. She's facing them. She's being like that kid at lunch, sharing her lunch with my dad. She is sharing her desire to help people. Because if you look like you said, in, in Columbus right now, who are they helping? Who are they being there for? I can tell you what, I know Ari enough to know she's going to be there for you. And that's when you go out and you talk about Ari's campaign, that's the message. Why are you worried about what bathroom she uses? Aren't you more worried about her character? Aren't you more worried about whether she's going to help you if you need help? Aren't you worried about that? Aren't you worried about your children? Aren't you worried about your community safety? Because I tell you what, she is. She's worried about that. To her, what is important, no matter what you look like, what you religious believe, is that you are a human being that has the right to live a life that you deserve to live. And that is why Ari is the best candidate for the House District 84.
My name is Ariane Childry, and I approve of this message.